uh, with this video um, hmm. I did not expect it I did not expect it this I was quite shocked today when I had the opportunity to talk to Chris again this was like very very shocking I'm gonna be short this is a big plus that goes to Donald Trump because Donald Trump personally told me what the truth is I you know I kind of think this is true that this actually is his son out of wedlock and he left him here literally this is what he told me personally and this is what some other people told me that like a warrant like a guarantee that it's gonna somehow that I'm gonna make it through um, it's quite amazing it's quite fascinating I did not see Donald Trump lately in that kind of light this is shocking to me because I know both I know Chris and I know his lady um, she is from location you're about to see on a map I googled that and we passed one time by Chris and I had me with me and I was particularly interested in her and you know he took advantage and you're about to hear the conversation everything um, just a really good person Chris Chris was one of the nicest people if not the nicest especially because people kind of knew that he is son of Donald Trump he would personal report to Donald Trump absolutely everything everything he could observe everything I would demonstrate under MK Ultra whatever and would be assuring that I know locations and so on there were quite a few really nice people guys Americans were nice with me I gotta say I can really not record, uh, recall a single American guy that well one guy really was that was a wimp oh, he complained about me ridiculous stuff on I me mean. but the rest of it they were really nice guys but I'm shocked about it Chris I want to thank you very much and this is the friendship I'm looking forward to this is this is the friendship I'm looking forward to I like it it's great to know uh, American in a Poland this is a good stuff and this is what Poland needs Poland needs to open itself to the US more than Germany I'm gonna tell you that much it needs to open itself to the one that gives I was in this city folks this city was when I came here forget about 1998 one time when Donald Trump was here and had me with me right there on a square but in 2002 when we came you're about to hear Chris he's not gonna say directly he will not say directly and I have to say that I no longer will take if I recognize people and this and that I do like you if you know me which basically the whole scourge knows me and a lot of people from watch watch too just come forward and say hey you're here we know you we saw you and this and that because I'm not gonna be collecting this kind of stuff anymore this is a proven case uh, if you have something like this you want to say you're welcome otherwise you know I'm pretty much done with this Chris miraculously came forward and I'm gonna tell you Chris I wasn't your dad that uh, the only one that wanted you to stay here it also had something to do with other people I don't want to say who um, but they want to make sure that they want to help me out and that's I really do appreciate and want to thank Poland for that personally want to thank Poland for that Chris did not take easily stay here from what I remember it was extremely difficult for him it was a shocker especially after he saw me in in a, in a situation just as it was for other guys and he stayed here and I'm just really really presently surprised about that 
I'm pleasantly surprised about that. Yeah, I'm looking to forward to a new friendship. And I encourage folks to just come forward. I got a few more recordings like this that I recognize people, but I'm not going to be doing this kind of stuff. Uh, I actually want people to come forward and say, hey, man, uh, we know you. Like few people already did. You know, I need the city to come forward. This was the biggest case ever in the history of humankind. And it, it's not going to go unnoticed. It's not going to go like... We don't know you and this and that and tarala. Uh, enjoy this audio recording. I, in real life, am a easy going person. Uh, humorous a lot. I like to joke. I'm humorous. I'm a positive person. Very positive, in fact. And it's probably not how you know me. Um, I have a principle that I pretty much adapt to all sorts of people from all types of backgrounds. If I could just get along with everybody, that probably would the best be uh, in my eyes. So that's all there is. Uh, next video uh, in English, the audio recording. Chris had to report personally to Donald Trump. He was the most trusted person under MKUltra. Uh, and especially because I really believe, I really believe this was his son. This is his son. He had to be like without spotless, like without absolutely any mistakes. He is sacrificed tremendously. And I have actually even heard Donald Trump that he would in fact recognize him as a son. Either way, either way, um, either way, I am looking forward to a friendship, a long-term friendship with this gentleman. He is a really nice gentleman. Uh, and okay, let's see what happens. If anyone, Donald, if anyone, this is the only son that is going to save your ass. If anyone, the only son you have. Uh, we have to redo the video. Uh, the political. It's not opinion. These are facts that people are afraid to state. Does not reflect views of American gentlemen. You're about to hear. It's exactly the opposite. He was like, I'm going to say like anti-politic. He was like anti my getting involved even into any kind of dispute between Moscow and Warsaw. Does not reflect his views as well as the people that helped me out along the way, that have identified me, allowed me to identify them. Uh, my views do not reflect their views in absolutely any way. But still, uh, I don't have this political party yet, but I'm going to have one. It's going to be called United Polska, uh, basically uniting all the Polish people under one umbrella for the sake of Poland, for the sake of the Polish nation. No division, uh, none of the stuff Mr. Kaczynski does. And I'm going to fight for that. I was even suggested by Americans that I would go back to the U.S. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not abandoning this place. I'm staying here. For good, I'm staying here. And I hope we're going to do some good here for the people. Anyway, I stepped in a hole because I live 
almost the whole girl group at night after finishing lessons. You live in or is that cold? No, no, in the guest, but the lack of or no, no, the border. Uh, in the you live somewhere? No, 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 in the guest, but on the direction. In the, dire in the direction of the Yeah, yeah. It's like I take about 46 from here and and it's in a big farmhouse. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I know which one. Voitex? Voitex? Yeah, what Voitex, about Voitex, huh? Voitex. Voitex, uh, what the guy that does uh, wood stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Voitex T. Voitex T. Voitex T. Voitex T. Voitex T. Mielski. Mielski, yes. Yes. It's like a, it's like a farm on, well, if you go this way, it will be a farm like on the right side. No, it's just, it's just metals, metals and on the back of the farm. It doesn't matter, but anyway, I stepped on a hole and I twisted it. Okay, just show me something, please. Yeah. If you go, if you go to Ortozorka, how far from here is that farm? It's in the gas. It's still in the It's, it's in Orzoko, yeah, of uh, course it is 99. Yes, right. 99 is the address. Is it Okay, Yeah, from here, one, from here, one, two, three, four, five bus stops. I get it. But it's it. at the border, the end of guest. The end of guest. Yeah, so from the center of guest, five bus stops. I think uh, that's it. Yeah. Tell me about it. Tell me all about it. Going okay, I got off the bus at like 10 o'clock, finished up at school in Wuj, uh -huh. and I stepped in the hole and I, because it was dark, because uh -huh. of no light, because it was uh -huh. really at the end of the town, uh -huh. and I twisted it and I didn't feel it, and I walked about 100 meters on a broken fibula, uh, fibula if you know Latin, but, and then I just collapsed and it was broken, and then I went to the hospital the next day, somewhere around here. And they fixed it, and they told me to use crutches. But you know, I'm a stubborn person, and I didn't listen to the doctor. And I started walking on it, and I broke it again, and my tibia, the big bone. Oh, it, and then they were pissed off at me because I didn't listen. So they put a big cast all the way up to here. So for three months, I was just lying in bed. I couldn't move. I mean, really, just go, go to the bathroom. And that's it. And then. I just got the cast taken off actually last week, so for the first time since October I've been able to put a shoe on the right foot. Seriously, I mean, yeah, I yeah. that, so it feels good, and then I, as I told you, I start rehabilitation next week in Radagos. So, Radagos? Mm -hmm. Radagos, in Bush, there's a clinic. Radagos. Yeah. There's some clinic they referred me to, I don't know, I just started, I just went to check it out, but... That's my story. And you? Do you have any interesting injuries? Do you look healthy? I am healthy. I think for the most part I am healthy. Uh, I do have this thing here. Uh, ligament. 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 Is it ligament? Yes. ACL, MCL, PCL. Which one? Uh, there are three in the knee. It's the ACL, anterior cushion ligament. Ooh, it's very bad. It's very you know common in sports. Because you know uh, I played American football and it's a very common injury. And you didn't have that injury. No, my brother did. Your brother did? Yeah, and it ended his career because he tore ACL and... What is your brother doing? He's a teacher in Denver, Colorado. In Denver, Colorado. But it's because I played university football and it was a very common... And it's a common injury in soccer too. I would love to see your brother... What's he look like, your brother? Completely different than me. Completely different than me. He's got long hair, uh -huh. he smokes marijuana all the time. Oh. It's legal in Colorado. Uh -huh. You only uh -huh. state. It's uh -huh. legal. Because uh -huh. it's a state law. In Colorado? Only in Colorado. Legal? What about California? That's it's medical marijuana. Medical marijuana. Oregon. But in Colorado, it's Everybody legal. 18 can, years old. You can just go and you can smoke. Only state. All you there, want. There's other states. Hawaii, California, Nevada, Washington, Oregon. Medical marijuana is legal, but you have to have a prescription from a doctor, like for pain, you have cancer, but Colorado is the only state anybody 18 years old or older can buy it. Funny, because you still have to be 21 to buy alcohol, but if you're 18 you can buy marijuana. It is true. <laughs> it's stupid, but... Ah. But anyway, it's made I a lot of... Okay. Uh, some people say it's better. Okay.
I think marijuana is not good. I think any kind of drug is not good. Alcohol included. No, that stuff is really healthy. I think. You can take it in moderation. It's okay. You do it every day? It, like anything. Yeah, it's true. Anything. Yeah. Like caffeine can be an addiction too, right? I People who drink it. Oh, about. see? But if it's caffeine, yeah, it's it can do. I guess it could do. Yeah. If you drink 10 cups a day, I mean, that's. Ah, it doesn't matter. Some people, especially women, addicted to sweets. Like myself. Oh, you have a sweet tongue. I just drink a lot of caffeine. <laughs> okay, we all have it. Sure. Yeah. So tell what? Me, what? Tell me, um, what are you, what are you up to here? You see us all on me? I, I hope to stay. You have to depend on your government. Depends on the government? Well, I'm waiting. Polish government or American? Polish. Well, my residence card was missing. Sorry, they fucked mm -hmm. up. And it was the city. Your residence card. My residence card, and I called. So you did, you, you don't want to travel here in Poland? Yeah, I mean, they, I have two kids. I grew up two different Polish mothers. And they're, oh, po and they're, yeah. and they're Polish citizens, but their father's not. So How can they now give somebody like this a citizen? If your government in USA would have no problem. They get rid of you, they wouldn't get nothing out of you. Exactly. But your government, USA would not have a problem, but in Poland's government. And I'm not European citizen. You know what I mean? You cannot, you cannot remind me of Donald Trump. Donald Trump. System, uh, system. I didn't vote for him. I hate that guy, but he won. I voted for the bitch, but a lot of people don't like her too. So, but I am a Democrat, but I didn't really want to vote. But I felt my duty was to vote. And my mom is all about girl power, girl power, Hillary this, Hillary that. So I voted for her. But I must support her husband and her because like, I heard she's a good kid. So I like it. You have to be a good kid, right? You have to have massive size. Many of them dominated profession, right? Politics. I'm thinking about that. That's a good issue to think about. Especially in Poland, you hardly have any women in politics. Compared to Scandinavia, with like 50 50 in Parliament. I mean, Polish Parliament may be 10% female. I'm just. I'm just trying to. No, it's an interesting view if you have for this. Well, I don't know what the other standards Mercedes is doing. I don't know what the standards Skoda is doing. This is not a Mercedes, this is a car. This is over. Oh, this is the most beautiful one. This is the other best one. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't know. What time is it? Why is it? Ah, it's almost right now. It's going up to 11. Are you actually jumping the place over there? No, 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 no. You are just a joke place? No, it's my partner's parents' place. The parking stand is like, yeah. So you got, this is like a third lady in the park? Oh, no. I do, I do. It, it's just a friend. Okay, okay. But ex student of mine who is ex student. But we happen to have a child together, so but we're not going to get married. So there's not to be a big deal. Nothing to be uh, getting married, no one. One thing is not bad. Oh, okay. Is there a good uh, concept of marriage? I did it once for one year. And that was enough, and that was a mistake, but I have a daughter from it, so you know. Did you, did you ever consider anything with me? Not on a date, not for the date. Like, I'm just like really funny guy, I like to joke a lot. My, my real side is like, no, I you like women, I like women too. No, no, I love women. Oh, no. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. But when I would, but I would like to, I would like to see somebody from the States. See somebody from the States again. It's been quite a while. Yeah. I was in the States. I was in the States class in 2009. And then I was in 2009. And then I left. Even rush hour in the park. It's a lunch hour, yeah. It's a lunch hour. Maybe you can stand over here and then you can stay. But it's also, uh, uh, I have noticed that people are just. Um, thank you much for thanks and to let's see how somebody can just come out rather than to find an alternative, you know, or something like this. And, and I see this like, yeah, like a culture thing. I see this like inside of this individual. That's who I am. You grew up with it? You grew up with it? Yeah. Do you know anything about that? I don't know anything about it. I know where I grew up with it. Right. Have you ever been to that? No. I've been to the forest. 
to the car or something? For walking? Well, when I was in a wheelchair, in a wheelchair, when right. my daughter was pushing and my partner was pushing. Oh, and you were? You'll be 13. Wow, you got to be kidding me. 13 already. Yeah. That is nice. What about the other daughter? It's a son. It's a son? Michael. Oh? And he, he is one, he turned one in January, so he's one year and four months without it. One year and four months, it's a new one. A new he family. started walking and oh, very so active. Very beautiful. So I have, I have a son and a daughter. So I think that is the most beautiful combination. The thing is that I would like to have in the same house there, you know? Yeah? This is the thing. The one day we get to call it. You know, life is life. And, you know, I'm not going to say it's what you make out of it, but I'm going to say you've got to enjoy it right away. Yeah, I've been trying to make the best of my situation. Having broken leg, I mean, I've spent a lot of time with my son. Specifically at the beginning in October, I was really, I had to lay in bed. Because this cast came all the way up to my waist, so I really couldn't move the six foot of bathroom. So we spent a lot of time hanging out watching TV, and he was, you know, only sleeping and eating and, you know, six months before the And sometimes watching... It's a big work, but... Oh, yeah. It's a big one. Now he's at home right now with his grandpa watching Tomiki. And you see, it's a very good part of it. No. No, you're supposed to do it, yeah? No. Me and me and movie does it. You know that's a good part. How many of us have done that one? Two hundred. No? Two hundred. How many? With Briggs? I first came here in 2002 with a different little girl I met at University of Colorado. And she was removed, and she couldn't stay in the USA because her student visa ran out. And and I studied finance. One of the one of the girls you were interested in was the girl with the big, uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful. No, <laughs> which girl? Um, the one who was in hospital. She also was a she also was a teacher in law in the school. Like a private school or something. Yeah. In the hospital, what's up with it? In the hospital over there, at the uh, hospital Mary, right next to hospital Mary. Yes. Right. Burnett girl. Uh, actually, she was good looking, decent, uh, like a red. Like, yeah, we would say it's good. In short? Shorter? Yeah, shorter. Yeah. That's my partner, Monica. Right now? Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. But you guys know each other for quite some time. Oh, well, she was a student back oh, in 2007. No, you're too bad. So there's a long history there. Did anyone want to move Sure. I did good. I'm going to post the subject to you. I mean, the only way you can say no is if you don't want to see it as a dress. But other than that, I'm going to do it. I would like to meet you with that. Okay. I like you as a person. Uh -huh. I like you as a... Uh, uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. We just trying to think of our last encounter. Many years. Time. You never know where you're going to meet people. It could be in the parking lot, by Tesco and McDonald's. Yeah, you never know. Good people talk to me about it. <laughs> So when you meet good people, that's just your tip. I've noticed a lot of bad people on Colin lately. Thanks it's people. Things, uh, it's things that tell people. But they still and help each other. And something has got to be done about it, because if it's not going to be something done about it, what's going to happen is it's never going to be anything out of it. Mm -hmm. You know? This is a big country. This is 40 million people. I know. And you have Ukraine. That's another 45. And the Belarus is France. There, and Slovakia is another 15, 20, Baltic States, another 10. And this used to be before one time, you know? I know, the empire. Empire. Uh, and the, th the thing about it is that Moscow is like, how can I say, this, this, is, this is like, don't say anything, I don't want to see that. You understand? Well, I've been to Russia, I know Russia. No, I mean, people are good. The government is done with fuck. They are primitive. One Ooh. word, Ruby. that's a person is Russians or government. 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 Soviet government is 
no different from the Balkan government in, in, Bel in Belgrade, in Serbia. This is regressive, idiotic, primitive government. Almost so Serbian state. And, 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 and you know what it is. And you know what it is. Like in Belarus, they got a dictator. What it is is that Yugoslavia would not fall apart if the capital would be based on, say, in Zaga, which is in Croatia. Not even in Slovenia, not in Slovenia, but I'm saying. Because they're way oh, more that's aggressive. that's right. You're from they're, Donald yeah. Trump's white country. I am from the same town. Melania. Oh, really? Melania came to pick me up to the U.S. Seriously? In 96, she came to pick me up to the was U.S. She, did she, she know Trump then? Did she know Trump, Trump then? Trump met her outside of the store, my store. Oh, God. You had her to up <laughs> and bye-bye. And now she's the first lady. She's the first lady. Her father is a KGB assassin. Not just a regular agent, but dude has got like an Udba record, like Udba, that's a theft, that's like people that literally cheat. take people out. And the interesting is that previous, from Ivan Kostom, father was also a assassin, but from Czech Republic. And so it seems like the Mr. Donald Trump, somehow, with, uh, for whatever he likes Eastern there, European uh, women. Uh, and those are strange people. Okay, I know it's a profession, too, but <laughs> I'm just being humorous here. No, but right. I mean, is this exactly what you need to find as a spouse and a daughter of... I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. And so she's from the same city as I am, same age as I am, and she ruined my life in the U.S. She ruined my life, actually. What's the picture? Melania is not a bitch. Melania is actually a big part of her. The thing about it is that her father belongs to, as you say in Belarus, a big cat of this old regressive again uh, society that wants to keep people like this for the throat, the entire society. Like let's say Katinsk in Poland. Two people on a choke collar. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a dog that uh, they can't breathe. Yeah, exactly. And do you think so, Yaroslav so wants to do that too? Well, from his brother wife in 2010 when the plane crashed, you should know that he is from Belarus. He was from Belarus. Maria? He is from Belarus. He wasn't a Pole. No, she's from Belarus. Oh, I did not know that. I know was her name everything Maria? about was her. Her name Maria? Maria. Maria. I know if she's not. This is the thing. His brother is not there. No, I said she is there. No, she's not. Oh, come on. There's no conspiracy. No, 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 no. The thing is, the uh, conspiracy is when you don't investigate deliberately, when you don't investigate plain accident for entire nine years, that is the ultimate conspiracy against the nation. When you have the plane and you have 100 people board that plane, 100 police back here that want to go and pay respect to the team, and you take the car and you drive to instead with the car to the Russia, Kaliningrad or whatever, Belarus, and hundred people get blown because there's a bomb on the plane near Katyn. That is really a conspiracy because you have not only done that, but you have I'm not gonna say delayed, but obviously you have somehow prohibited for murder to be investigated for the entire two years. That is a very serious conspiracy. Uh, but, for instance, when the plane crashed in Ukraine, investigated the next day. They did the reconstruction of the plane accident, the plane of everything they did, like, within days, you know? Mm -hmm. How, what are you going to tell me? I mean, Poland was a European Union member already in, I don't know, what was the year, no. 2010. I yeah. Think. No, uh, before that. When the Way Poland? before that, yeah. No, nine maybe because I was uh, I was divorced, so I had to be. The thing is, the thing is that the thing is that you cannot tell me that. It's been about ten years. It's like you were saying, you would tell Sergeant, let's not go over that because we're going to see it. They're going to see us, we're going to invest it. Nobody's going to see it. I mean, Russia is Russia. If you're a member of the European Union, you can tell the European members, say, please, assist us with this investigation. Or you're a member of NATO. Or a member of NATO, exactly, and we're going to investigate it thoroughly. And so when you're going to do this kind of stuff, please don't tell me that this is not the United States. He's so in bed with, with Moscow that it's scary. And then the scariest part about it is, now look at this, you know, the scariest part about it is, 
Don't look at it. The scariest part of the horror is that Moscow, which is regressive, which is not, which is not, you know, there is no progress. There is nothing. They don't give nothing. Like the U.S., Britain, they give them everything you know, technologically. They don't give in return nothing. They don't give anybody anything at all, anyway. Uh, rather than having Moscow run this slavic world of affairs, it should be run by Kiev and by Vodka, you know. It shouldn't be better that way, by Praga, by Bratislava and so on, by Zagreb and so on, right? So you get the maximum out of it, so you build the society rather than... Sofia. Sofia is Bulgaria. But there's four other people. Well, Sofia is Slavic. So there's a lot. And, and I bet it's nice. You know, I bet it's nice. <coughs> I, I, see, I see the Bulgarian people are trying to make part good things, you know, for better. But, you know, the Moscow, I heard, it's like, let's say, the two guys crashed here, and one would just come out and just start beating the other one, and then there is no court, there is nothing. Like, I know personally, Julia Soigo, uh, uh, you know, Senia Soigo, I know these people. You know Soigo? Yeah. Soigo is the general, main general of the Russian military. Putin was involved in this. I was in Russia, he took me to Russia many times. I know these people, they told me, in Russia, what we do with a case is like a proven case. We never actually go through the case that, uh, that would give you the opportunity, but it, it's delayed for so long till you die, and then you die. And I bet they do other stuff too, yeah. you know. And so this is... Don't make me think too much. No, so this is the kind of stuff, you know, this is the kind of stuff that, that you know, this, this place here, this Poland, this is the place, this is a good place. So this is where you can feel. You can feel here industry, like at big time, you can do things. And people are on beaches and they're hard work. It's rather than Polish partner. No, 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 but a Polish, even a business partner, just somebody with Polish nationalities, a lot harder. I even started thinking about studying my own school of languages, but... You want to do it? No, oh, fuck no. How much for it? I'm it's interested in some it's, it's too much language bureaucracy. lessons. I would give some English lessons to someone. It's I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher, but I wanted to have my own company because I also study business. I think it's the best way. I've always wanted to work for myself, but in America, it's so fucking easy. There's no bureaucracy that falls. In America, in America, uh, of course, there's a little bit bureaucracy. Uh, it's because you already started to get adjusted to the system too much, so you need to meet somebody like me and remind yourself of what it is to be first in the same to the country. And that's going to give you a simulation. It's been fixed today. Yeah. yeah, you're going to throw this away and oh. say, Johnny, here I am, Johnny. Come on, we're going to meet sometime? Sure. It's up to you. I would love to meet with you. I would really love to meet with you. If you give me a number, you can trust me a number. Of course, but I don't know my own number. Uh -huh. Can we go? I yeah, need to sit down. My leg. I'm, I need to sit down and get, put, take the pressure off. I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to. Uh, you know. This is a very good stuff, and in the parking lot, this will be perfect for me. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna meet in the parking lot. Well, Thank you know, it's true what you're saying. Thing. Oh, oh. Always Whoever owns this McDonald's has a really good location and they're doing really well. You know, I know that because when I came here in 2002, this McDonald's was only one level and now it's double the size, so that means they have money, they expand it, they have double drive through and it's open 24 hours. So. Whoever the owner is, you want the best future, I think. Thank you. That's what I think. But I'm not. I'm arrogant. There's yeah, many, there's many teachers. You are really not arrogant. That is something I will tell you. Yeah. Arrogance is really not. Well, thank you. are a gentleman. I can tell that. Okay. That was good.
mean, you mean you alone, like without girl? You mean like where you live? Yeah, I don't, I don't have a room, and I'm still single. I, I, don't, I, don't I still know. haven't found what I'm looking for. Uh, don't ask me, I'm divorced, so. Lucky you. Oh, uh, well, actually, yes. Have you seen me? It could be worse. Well, uh, with women, it can be. Sometimes it's like. How is it called? Which one? Which one? Oh, tell me all about it. I don't know. How was it? In bed? No, not in bed. That's up to you. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, most women, compared to American women, in my experience, of course, I'm not no Captain Ola or you know, John Wan, but most women are more subjective, definitely. Subjective? Man is in charge of the household. Yes. So that can be positive or it can be negative. Like everything right. in life, but that happens. I did that all the time with my friends, but those women are more old school. Yeah. They take care of their man, you know, like, which to me I like. So you're just different. It's, 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 it's positive. But sometimes if, if you want, and I know a lot of, they're not me, but a lot of men, foreign men that I've worked with in foreign, use the situation. Abuse. Right. I mean, you yeah, you right, right, right. another woman another day, another woman, woman like recycle women and right. and the thing is a fuck basically. Uh -huh. and I've seen a lot of those. I've seen in a fact <laughs> I used to live in Wuja, I used to go I used to live on Petkosta near Kalitka. Uh -huh. uh, near Kalitka Prop. There's a lot of foreigners there. And I was mostly men and I would just say, so what brought you to Poland almost Basically, is what attitude of some British guys. You know, British women are horrible. No, oh, I don't know. Oh, are oh. they? The teeth? What, what do you mean? mean? They're ugly. No, they're not. Okay, but I'm just. I've been to London. It's your taste. You have a taste like that. No. I, I, I made them like Mr. Trump. I like some other women. Beautiful. I had a Russian girlfriend, I had a Croatian girlfriend. Maybe that's something, something out of you. It's <laughs> something. <laughs> well, maybe we just like Islamic women. women. I, mean, uh, I don't women. like his taste in politics. Well, I do agree. Well, the women are very beautiful. Well, that's true. That's true. I mean, this area. Yeah, true. Sure. I would, too. Sure. So, you know, it's Slavic women, I guess, yeah. say, in general. Yeah. Slovakian, Ukrainian, this, like, a German, but it's a British rule. No, this is not. Uh, you mean, like, a woman? Women are very beautiful. They're very beautiful, but, 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 but... It's something else if you ever become part of that society, eventually you'll be accepted as something else. It's something yeah. totally different. But th I'm just giving you my experience and so on. I, I value your experience. And I, you know, I lived, in, I lived in Prague for half a year. And there's, a, there's a difference between Czech people and Polish. Oh, yeah? Even though you're both Slavic yeah. nations. And Western Slavic, yeah. Western Slavic, so compared to Eastern, because of Russian right. Victoria from St. Peter's Battle. Yes, it was a Russian accent, Chris, what are you doing today? Okay, that's a long story. You were in St. Petersburg? No, I met her in Prague, uh -huh. and then I met her again in St. Petersburg. Uh -huh. Did you went with her? Uh, no, Petersburg? we just kept in contact over email, and I went with my mother in 2005 on my mother's drugs to travel. Uh -huh. She's been an artist, she's been everywhere. She came back in Antarctica. Your mom is very beautiful, right? Yeah. Like that. She's divorced and she's lonely and she her dog died in this appointment, so her, uh -huh. her therapy is traveling. Yeah. Hey, enjoy life, she's got the money, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so a couple of years after I met Victoria from St. Petersburg in Prague, I traveled to St. Petersburg and then I kept in contact and she met me. And he showed me around six weeks. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. It's a very beautiful place, mm -hmm. huh? I liked it better than Moscow, but that was my opinion. Oh, it's I think, in my opinion, it is way more beautiful than Moscow. Moscow is very It's very, vibrant, very cosmopolitan, very fast. And you have a Baltic Sea and mm -hmm. Lake Saron and so on. It's and so I was beautiful. there in July in, you know, really? in so You've been paying a lot over there. But it was there in July. No, no, no. When I was when there, did you meet Victoria? In 2002, when I got my teaching license in Prague, we stayed in the same hotel. In 2002? In the same hotel, Victoria. Kendorvina or something like that. Kendorvina? I don't remember. 
long time ago. But anyway, I just remember St. Petersburg in July. It was with my mom. We were at a coffee bar or something. And she's like, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock. I'm like, Mom, it's 11 p.m. You know, because the days are so long. Right. Because it's up there far north. And short nights. I'm calling the tape. I'm like, Mom, it's 11, not 8. Aura, aura. Aura in Polish is Pogoda, is weather, but up north aura is Nordic sun. Midnight. Like Alaska. Like Alaska. And Canada. Yeah, the day. When I was in Sweden in Norway, it was like 8 o'clock. Yeah, and it's 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 like 8 o'clock. Yeah,
in Colorado in my mom's garage. Okay, but what about you? No. My partner has a car. He has a car? He works in Visa. Okay, so she drives you around? I can drive. I have a license. You drive too? I drive on my Colorado license. And I've been stopped by police in May, except for uh, You have been stopped by the police? In Warsaw. And you have uh, Colorado's license in Warsaw? Not, not a problem. Uh, awesome. Just as long as I know that. I just will lay inside it. Because by Okinta, you're not... You mean like a fish is rotten? No, no, no <laughs> waffle stuff. <laughs> that was the old thing. But now, I tried. I could, I'll tell you the story. With my ex-wife, yeah. by, by, <laughs> by Okinta, yeah. there's a highway. And you're not supposed to change lanes, apparently. Uh -huh. And I changed, and of course, there was a cop right there. You know, he stopped me, and you know, I gave him my old, my car was licensed, and he, of course, he was staying in Polish. It, but my wife obviously she understood, and they were saying they're going to take it to the embassy, and I'm going to have to leave the country, and I was just, you know, this is not true. I know that, but I was going to shit my pants because, you know, my heart was just boo boo sure. They were trying to talk and stuff like that. Oh, they did and it to so me too. Oh, but then you got me lost. Huh? Without, without, on a fan, without a ticket. So what oh. happened? Tell me. So, but these are real cops. Yeah. And they, and this and that. And finally, after, and I actually, I opened up my wall and I said, Push about those. Uh -huh. Oh, no, 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 no. Because apparently there's cameras in the car. I didn't know, but I tried to give the bribe. No, 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 okay. And then met more talking and then mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But after like three minutes finally he gave me back my license and he said in English, good luck. It was it. And I was thank you God. So that was my one time with police traffic police in Portland. They got me over there in Lord. I was with our ticket. I smuggled myself first when I came here. No. I didn't have the pants. I didn't have any money. And uh, I wanted to go to a store with a new clothing and stuff. And so he just ran and they got me. And all I had with me was maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks or something like that. And so the guy says, where are you from? And, and I told the story that I'm from the and that's all I have. And said, what about that? You have a, you have a credit card, debit card from the equipment that I said, and the free, free card is there. I said, I said, you can have, uh, you can touch as much as you want, there's nothing over there. It's not, not a dime. And so, you don't know what's going to be. We're going to take you to the jail and go back to Slovenia and this and that. And I was, I was like, yeah, you can do it. No, I, I, my heart did not roll. Just there was a girl, there was a, no. I'm kidding. Seriously, come on. I don't know. Yeah. What are the stars for the other thing? I don't know. No. They like to see that. I know. It's really I, like I like Polish people, but I don't like the Polish bureaucracy. I'll say that much. I like Polish people as well. What kind of people? Like, like with my residence guard. They forgot. They just sat five, six months doing nothing because they just forgot to do it. And it's very important for me. Uh, what do you mean by this that you got to do it? I have a case, because I've lived here since 2002. They have all these documents, and now they have a copy of my college diploma. Okay. But now something changed. They want original, and it's in Colorado, of course. Why? In the past, the photocopy was announced. And they want the original, like of my temple certificate, which is the teaching certificate I got in Prague. But I have it here, but I didn't have my university. And we did this, we did this for the I resident certificate? Permit. So my mom had to call to my university, because she lives in Colorado, in order an official copy with the stamp. And it cost a hundred bucks. And yeah, that was they're asking uh, the This of course is the legal way. I tell you what, they would not allow me to work with you. Like they wouldn't consider my case, but it's a really, really it's a pretty big case. And what they tried to do is delay, delay my work permit. That's what they did today. Right. And so but now you're European Union citizen, so you you don't have any problems. Well, actually, I do have a problem. Actually, I have, actually, I have even more problems than what you do. Because then you're a citizen. Because as a European citizen, there's a thing with the law 
that if I was the government, any government within the European Union, where you would attempt to file for political asylum if you are from another European Union state, to decline you the right to file for political asylum because you are from another European Union state, which is of course illegal because it will be like saying there is no crime within the European Union. You know what I mean? There's no corruption within the European Union. Right. That is insane. Yeah, but there is such there is such law. <coughs> I have appealed one. I, I did that kind of stuff. Uh, but it, it is possible to And when I do that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, and when I did not get response from time from them, like thirty days or something, like that, I had to reapply to political asylum. So I was not lucky in that aspect. Um, but when I think about it, when I go over it, was in my best interest in, in, from a certain perspective they did this, because of the stuff I needed to get out here, because it was true. But when I considered the fact that, you know, you were in a, in a place where um, there's all kinds of stuff that went on, That was not exactly my best interest, it was my worst interest. No. So it, 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 it all depends, you know, but I guess it's how they want. It is their best interest. Uh, and so that's where we're going to go from. Well, is that Victoria from St. Petersburg? Petersburg, yes. Victoria? Uh, three hours ago. I wonder what she's up to. It was, and she barely spoke English, and I can't speak Russian. It was very quick, right?
play? Thank you. 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 Thank you.